Hey everyone, happy Friday and happy Valentine's Day. This is one of my very favorite holidays. I think it's just so, I don't know, I love all the, I think the main thing is I love all the colors and I just love the, all the decorations. And when I was little, I loved doing the Valentine's. I mean, that was like a big deal. I remember spending so much time, you know, who got what and I used to, and then when I would get them and bring them home, I would tape them on my closet door so I could just look at them until like the next you year. You know, whoever and the boy was in the class that you kind of liked, you'd pick out that special Valentine. And now it just doesn't seem like it's as much fun. Matter of fact, I just did wills for him because he had no interest really. A couple years he would sit down and help me, you know, who do you want this one to go to? Who do you want this one to go to? But I would have to just keep on and on. So this year I took him to the store and we picked out, he picked out the fun dip. And it's just the kind where you write who they're to and who it's from. So I just did it for him because he didn't want to do it. <laughs> so, and Brooke, a matter of fact, let me show you I what I got I bought these her. for her and I should have known better, but I was at Barnes and Noble. It was that day I was looking for the Kate Moss style book. It was probably about a month ago. And they had these Valentine cards out on display and I just thought they were beautiful. They're kind of vintage looking and um let me see i haven't even opened them they're only 6.95 and they had so they have this design and they're kind of like see how they're kind of 3d that design and it's got the to and from and then it had um oh they're all this they were just turned upside down okay so it's just that one and i knew you know she's in her last year of middle school and i knew she probably wasn't going to be giving out valentine's but <laughs> She loves like vintage stuff like this. And of course we love kitties. So I thought maybe she would use some, but she didn't. She, I mean, she likes them. And I, if I asked her, she would still want them. But um, so I've got many packages to send out. I bet I've, that's on my list of things to do. I sent out a few this week, but so if you're expecting a package from me, um, all my orders are going out today, and then I've got some gift packages going out too. So you might get one of these cards just because I hate for them to go to waste, and I think they're so cute. But anyway, I just love Valentine's Day, and I appreciate you all for being here with me. And I got, just as soon as I got up this morning, I got several Happy Valentine's messages. Sheila Fajal sent me one, and that's just so sweet. So I think it's just like a Happy Valentine's or a Happy Day. And for those of you that don't have a Valentine, I know how that feels. I remember when I was going through my divorce, you know, I was working in an office and, you know, here come the roses for this girl and for that girl. And I don't know, I guess I was kind of sad. I was just sad in general. It didn't, I was sad every day because of it. And I'll never forget my brother walking in with flowers for me and I could cry right now, but and how special that was because he knew that I am funny about that. It's, I don't know, I'm not a real gifty person, but I love, for Valentine's Day, I guess you love to get a little something. And my first husband was very good at that. He always got me, you know, I've, I've been very lucky in the men department when it comes to gifting and flowers and stuff like that. So anyway, so if you're out there and you are lonely, just hang in there. Just hang in there. These good times are out there. And um, I think Claire Marshall on her channel had a good video on what to do if you're by yourself on Valentine's Day. You know, how to treat yourself. And um, it's just a fun day. So happy Valentine's. Okay, I did not get a lot this week. We had bad weather, which I know so many of you have had bad weather and are still having it and have had it much worse. But it kept me in and we were actually out of power for one day and the kids have been out of school. They've even got to go to school tomorrow on Saturday and they had a two hour delay this morning. So, but it, it just feels so good out there today. The sun is shining and the birds are chirping. It's just like, you would think it was spring. So um, it's gonna be a good day. And I've got Will's Valentine's Day party at 1.30. So I'm gonna go, I'm bringing whipped cream. <laughs> but um, okay, first of all, I want to tell you that I tried to wear this lip combo that um, I could have sworn, oh, I just got a box out of there. So I think my box has failed. I could have sworn I heard a kitty over there, but I don't, I know there's none in the house right now. Okay, I tried to wear this matte Relentlessly Red and the Dynamo lip combination. 
I thought it might not look that good, but you know, to look good for Valentine's Day. And I wanted you guys to be able to see it because several of you told me you wanted to see it. I am not exaggerating. And I have had on lip conditioner all morning. What did I put on this morning? I put on the By Terry that Stephanie sent me, the um, lip gloss. So I've had lip conditioner on. I wiped it off. I lined my lips with this, which was bright as, I mean, probably one of the brightest lip liners I have ever tried. And it was so dry. And then comes this, which is probably the driest lipstick I have ever encountered. This makes Ruby Woo like a luster. I mean, it is just so dry. I could not even, I couldn't even spread it across my lips. So I made myself, and they were just like in pain almost. I mean, it was just the driest lip combination I have ever put on. So I took it off. I just, there's no, it didn't look good. It didn't feel good. There was just no way I could wear this. So I don't know what the key is. I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting on lip conditioner first or, you know, if it's my lips or what it is. So I will try this again another day and then post it on my Instagram. Because, um, and it, whew, it was, I could have handled the color. The color was really bright. It does not look on me like it looks on her. On her, on Sophie, is who I'm talking about. Um, it looked like a peachy reddish color like peach with just a little bit of red in it on me it just looked like bright red orangey red dryness <laughs> it was terrible so anyway <laughs> there's that okay let's see um i made a video earlier in the week but if you haven't seen it this is one of the things that i told you about and it is the dip brow pomade i got the blonde and it's from anastasia and I've used a lot of it and I love it I definitely recommend everybody get it but I need another brush to use with this I have tried my smash okay first I've tried my Hakuhodo big no-no tried the Smashbox brow brush and the Lee Swatier I think and a Sigma angle brush and none of those, those all are wonderful for powder, especially the Hakuhodo. When you want to get that pigment and you want to have that just good control of your pigment and that good line and everything. But with this, I find it might be, it might not be like this if you have dark brows that you really are getting that good, you know, beautiful arch and everything. But with my brows being ashy, you, I don't want them to be too stark too dark and I don't want too much product put on there so I think what I need is one of those really light flippy thin brushes kind of like a 266 or some of those brushes from Mac that I have gotten rid of because they did not work well with the powder to me so I'm gonna get one of those and see how it works but I do I mentioned this the other day and I've had several people agree with me you need to go lighter than you think like Typically, I would not get blonde. I would go ahead and get ash blonde or medium ash or something like that. And, you know, this looks kind of light, but you can see that my eyebrows are none too light. It, it really darkens them. And good night, it is waterproof. I mean, it is, I have to almost remove my brows. And I didn't even think about it until I looked in the mirror and I was like, what is wrong? After I took off my makeup and I realized my brows were still on. So, um... And I'm having kind of some brow issues right now anyway. I let them grow in. I have not plucked my eyebrows in a month or more. I've only plucked a few crazy ones that are just without question in the wrong spot. But I have let all of this all up underneath here and over here, especially this side. It's still maybe a little... Here, I'll zoom in. See if... <laughs> Okay, that's probably too close. But like right here, I've let them grow in and like right here. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I just kind of started, you know, I had tried to really sculpt them out and make them thinner. And it was just, I felt like it was so hard to keep up that maybe it wasn't meant to be. Maybe it wasn't what I should be doing because it was like going against everything that's natural. It was more than 
you know, um, shaping them up. It was like reshaping them. And it was every time I would be in question, should I pluck this one or not? So anyway, let me know what you think. If you think they're too thick or if you think they're okay. I thought what I might do is just go have them professionally done soon and um, get them to shape them up. So anyway, give this a try if you're at all interested. I almost got the Makeup Forever, like um, it comes in the squeezy tube, the aqua brow and I'm kind of glad I got this because I think this might be a little bit easier to work with for me and I always wipe some off before I go to my brow I've learned that because sometimes you can get too much on your brush okay so I got that and then I told you guys earlier this week that I had gotten another I had gotten a couple of the Brilliant Shines from Milani. I had gotten the nude, the creamy nude one, which I ended up returning because it looked terrible on me. It looked just like blah. I mean, no pizzazz. It was like too dark. It needed to be either be, it needed to be lighter for me to wear it. So I went back, oh, and then that day I also got the Rose Blush, which is one of the ones that has the little teeny bit of shimmer. And I had this on in, I believe I yeah posted an Instagram pic of it and wore it in my last video. Love both of those. So this is the one I wore last Friday or Saturday. Um, and it's the Sweet Great, no it's not, okay. Okay, Pink Lady is the one I wore last week. This is the one I wore the other day and this is what I have on today. That's why I have it right here. This is the Sweet Grapefruit. And I wasn't gonna get all of these, but then I keep seeing pictures of people wearing them and they're so pretty. So. This is what I have on with nothing underneath it, but bear in mind, I did um, Bioderma my lips to get the other lip combo off, but you know they're still basically stained a little bit. So I have this on with nothing else, and I don't think I need to put any more on because they're just, they might get, well, put a little bit just to show you the true color. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. So. And this is, this is one of the creamy ones. See, it doesn't have any of the sparkles in it. I'll let you compare those. So you can see the ones with sparkles just have a little bit. Okay, then I wanted to tell you this too. They were buy one, get one half at my CVS. It's just that there was no sign and the guy told me they weren't. But evidently they just didn't know, but it's in their computer. So I did get buy one, get one half. So when I went back, I was getting Vicky a set of all of these because in Canada, she couldn't find them yet. They'll probably be out later, but... So I was getting her a set of everything and I picked up the Coral Crush, which originally I wasn't gonna get, but I thought in the summer, this would probably be a great lipstick and they feel so good. If I didn't like the way they felt and lasted and they seem to stay in my lips well. They don't go over or under a lot, they even without a liner. So um, anyway, I got those, and then I also got the Nude Glow or something. It was the nude one that is sparkly, and um, I got that for Anne Marie that lives in the Netherlands to put in her package that is going out. See, I have all these packages that I have been meaning to get out and are going out soon. Okay, and then, um, oh, this. I picked this up because I had just seen Samantha Sherman on YouTube talk about this and how much she loved it and I had been looking at these interesting little things and I think it's so cute how they did the end of this to look like a lipstick because I couldn't every time I looked at it I thought is that a lipstick and I never had gotten one but she said that she loved this color it's called um, nude illusion I got it and I had good hopes for it but here again it's just too that's the applicator and that's the color it's a good like toffee color I bet if you are um, a redhead um, and have probably fairer skin than I do, that you would probably love that. Or like Samantha, it looked beautiful on her because she's fair and with the fair hair and you know, it just showed up more. With me, it just kind of looked like blah. I mean, it looked better than nothing, uh, but it just didn't do anything for me. It didn't brighten up my face, but yet it wasn't nude enough to wear like with a smoky eye or something like that. So. Probably what I'll do is just give this to my mom to put over her lipsticks or something. It is really pretty. It's like a toffee type color. So I bet this would look really good too over a peach. If you have a peachy color that you want to warm up or tone down, this would be a good one. 
So in that formula, I'll probably get another one of these in like a pink color or something because the formula was so, it felt good. Okay, then I had already checked out and paid and I thought, gosh, I need to get John a Valentine's Day card. And so Will and I went back there to pick one out and he helped me. He loves looking at cards anyway. He thinks he likes the funny ones. And um, when I was on my way back, I saw these, which are the Rimmel London. I love their little top. I love that crown. But it is their Salon Pro Kate um, polishes. And these, they were buy one, get one half, and they're only $2.99 to begin with. So I got the colors that I was most interested in. There was also a really pretty red and a really pretty bright pink. But I just, I've got the, I think it's Pirate or Dragon. I've got a Chanel red that I really like. And then I've got so many hot pinks that I like. So I grabbed these and then I came home and watched the video. It was like an interview on YouTube that they did with her about these nail polishes. And, um, cause I'm weird like that. I just wanted to see what she had to say about them and to see if she said which one that was her favorite. So of course they asked her and she said that one of her favorites was this one and it's number 237 Soul Session and it's what I have on my nails today and it is nude. Very, very, so you can see it is, you know, just so nude. But I don't, it's so nude but it does still have some color. It would look really, really pretty on toes. So that is the Soul Session. And then this one I just thought was so pretty. And this is what I was going to put on first. And then I switched to that. It's number 377 um, Chic Chick. And it's just a real pretty pink. But it's, it's that pink that's got a little bit of, it's not too blue. It's got a little bit of warmth to it. A little bit of peachy undertone. And... Um, Matter of fact, it's more of like a nude pink because when you put it next to this one, which is um, New Romantic. New Romantic? Yeah, New Romantic. So you can see how this one is more nude and then that one is more pink. And then this may be my favorite one. And this one is called Punk Rock, number 711. And it's just that good smut kind of, you know, grayish purple color. And um, I love that. So I'll, I'll probably use this one next because I like this. But so you can't beat those. And they have the wide brush. So if you don't like that, then you're not going to like these. But I think I've just about gotten used to them and learned how to use them. But see, they've got this wide, kind of like the Dior, the wide brush. So, and this is two coats. And they're supposed to have a, I think, a gel-like finish. It's got Lycra with Avac Lycra. And, um, but I mean, they're just, they seemed nice, as good as any. And I've really enjoyed the fast drying Sally Hansen top coat. Several of you had told me to try that, and I don't think I had gotten the right one the first time. And this time I got, let me go get it so I can show you the this exact This is the one top I coat I've been using. It's Sally Hansen dries instantly top coat. And this, if it weren't for this, I would not be able to paint my nails as often as I do. But this stuff is just, as a matter of fact, you can see a lot of times my thumbs will get messed up because I don't know anybody that has time enough to sit down that long without doing anything. So my little process is before I get in the shower, every time I get in the shower, I take off my nail polish first while the shower's warming up or if I'm putting on a mask or something like that, I always remove my nail polish. That way when I'm washing my hair and stuff, you know, my fingernails get clean. And then when I get out, if I need to trim them, I do. And I just use one of those great big, kind of like the, you know, the great big nail clippers. And I ba basically, that's the shape of my nails is that nail clipper. And then I'll take a um, file if I need to and just file the edges. And then my favorite base coat lately has been this Nail Envy Nail Strengthener. And this is the Sensitive and Peeling Nails. And I can't remember. I think the reason I got this was when I took off the shellac a few months ago and I used it and then I'd forgotten about it and I just saw it probably two or three weeks ago and I've been using it and I like it. It's a good, I don't know how to say it, it seems like it might be a little bit thicker than a lot of them that just, I don't know. 
I can't say that it really holds my nail polish on any better because I don't wear mine long enough, but I just think that my nails seem stronger and I've had to cut them more, it just seems like. So okay, anyway, I that's what oh, I use. I can't believe I almost forgot these. Okay, the other day I showed you this, I believe, um, either in my last video or the one before. I think in my last video. It is the, several of you told me about the Milani Baked Blushes. And I kept looking, I thought they would be in like a different section. I thought they would look different. Well, they don't. They're the same look as the Luminoso and Rose Dior and all those ones that we've gotten for years. But they Packaging. are just very, I mean, not very uh, boldly, but it says new matte formula or something like that on there. So the first one I grabbed was the number 11 Bella Rosa and it is beautiful, beautiful. Oh. Oh no, my nail just stuck in there. Yuck. Okay, now I've got a stab mark in my. <laughs> but um, there's the Bella Rosa, and I had this on the other day in my video, and it is pigmented, beautiful. It's just a gorgeous blush. Now, I watched a video this morning of Crystal, Miss Crystal Makeup, it's Crystal, and she had gotten this and she thought that it was too much, but the, I told her in my comment, the first thing I noticed was how pretty her blush looked. So, I think it's beautiful. I know in person it might have looked like too much, because I know a lot of times I'll think I have on enough blush and when I look at my video back, I don't even have any on, hardly. So, um, but anyway, I love that. So, I really recommend that. So, I went back to get the other color, I looked online and there's only two of them that are matte and I wanted to get one of those for Vicky also, but they were out of that, but they had this one this time. And this is number 10, um, Delicioso Pink. And this is more of a pink swoon type color. It's beautiful. And this is what I have on today. So it's more of the blue pink. It's just gorgeous. Oh, here's UPS. Let's see. Yay, I got something else to show you. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off what I was saying, then I'm gonna open this. Anyway, both blushes, gorgeous, gorgeous. Do not miss out. If you, I mean, they're they're equally pretty. I know this blue tone pink can be, I don't know, more a little bit more limiting to me, but this color just to me looks like a natural flush, and I love them and. They're every bit as good as like that Clinique blush I just bought or any of those. I mean, just really, really nice. So, and if you're worried about them being too heavy, you know, pat your brush on your hand first and then just be real light like that. So, that was going to be everything that I had to show you except for my friend Ashley from Four Seasons, Five Things. She left me a message on Instagram, I think, either Instagram, I think so, that she had designed something that she knew I was going to like and that she was going to send it to me. So, she sent me that this week and then I bought a t-shirt from her. She has the best taste, but this is the sweatshirt that she has designed and it's a hoodie and I don't think I have, Brooke loves hoodies, but I have not worn a hoodie in so long and I just ran across a picture on either Pinterest or Instagram of a girl wearing a hoodie and boyfriend jeans and pumps. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And maybe I'll wear this tomorrow and do an Instagram picture of it. But it is a hoodie that says, never complain, never explain. And this is the, and it's like that. And it, it this is the medium. They're unisex sizes. So it's kind of like, um, it's dry blend medium let's see, um, 50 cotton, 50 polyester. I've already washed this because when I first got it, it looked like it just needed breaking in a little bit. And I'd actually planned on wearing this today, but with it being Valentine's Day, I felt like I should wear something a little bit. I've got on um, my top with the kisses, the red on it. So I wanted to wear something just a little bit Valentine-y. Um, but I will probably wear this tomorrow. And for those of you that have never heard of this saying, it, I knew it was like a Kate Moss thing. It's like one of her mantras or her, you know, logo type things. It's on a lot of her pictures you'll see and just a lot of, it's her, one of her favorite quotes. And the word is, and I'm not sure if it's true, but you know, a long, long time ago, she either dated or was really good friends with Johnny Depp. I've seen pictures of them two together, so I think they might have dated, which how cool is that couple? I mean... Even Brooke loves Johnny Depp. I mean, who doesn't love Johnny Depp? But anyway, 
Um, and I've, Ashley was telling me that he is the one that gave her that advice and she just kind of stuck with it. So, and my goodness, I need to take this advice. I need to take it. I need to never complain, never explain. But I just don't think that that's in my personality. I am I an explainer. Really like this. I, they've got it in white with black lettering also. And I will, um, maybe I'll screenshot a picture of the girl wearing it on Instagram and put it after this video and um so and it's oh it's uh 55 dollars and i will put ashley's um i'll ask her if she wants me to put her number or her website or whatever down below but ashley has very good taste and she always gets good stuff so love this so thank you so much ashley and thank you for thinking of me i love it and i will keep it forever while i was talking to her i told her i really wanted some nice t-shirts some different ones and she told me about this one and it is the Monroe which is one of my favorite t-shirt brands their t-shirts are very similar to me as the to the Alexander Wang the tea by Alexander Wang they have that same see how it's got that nice like slub finish to it and let me see what this is I think it's just called the v-neck Favorite V-neck tea. Oh, it is 100% linen. That's why it feels like this. And it's a medium, so don't dry this. But it feels so good. And the neatest thing about this is the weight. It really has a good weight to it. So when a t-shirt like this has that good weight and drape to it, it's going to be so flattering because it will kind of curve to your body. And even tucked in, like you could easily wear this tucked in with a black pencil skirt and then a real bold statement necklace and some black pumps and it would just be gorgeous because it's not going to be boxy and, you know, sloppy looking. It's going to be kind of dressy looking. And another thing good about these, and I will put Ashley, she sent me a picture of herself wearing it and um, they, they're easily worn off the shoulder because the V-neck is so wide. It, it's easily to you know drape off the shoulder it's just that casual look and i think the weight of it helps with that too but it's just gorgeous i love it for a black t-shirt it's just so so pretty and i know she's got white i want to get the white one and i could have sworn she said she had an orchid or lavender type color coming in and i want to get the other two also because i just really like this and um so i'm gonna go put these up and then i'm gonna open that box i was watching right Gosh, I, you guys are going to think I'm just like a stalker on Claire, but I guess week before last or whenever I was watching her videos, she did a haul and she mentioned Brandy that she had gotten some t-shirts and stuff from Brandy Melville. And I had never heard of that at all. I've never heard anybody on, you know, I always hear Zara, H&M, all those other places that I don't, ASOS that I don't have. But she mentioned Brandy Melville and the things that she showed she got there, I really liked. And the whole concept there is i believe it's yeah it's from santa fe okay it's from los angeles california on it must be on santa fe avenue or something and everything you get from there is one size fits all so it's all like big t-shirts and stuff that i love and i knew that if i couldn't wear it brooke could or i could wear it around the house to the beach or to sleep in or something like that and everything was very inexpensive so I think it was if you spent a hundred dollars you got free shipping so i spent 116 and got one two three four things so the prices this, were let's good see what so, this is. okay this is what i got in hopes of wearing with my leopard leggings I'm not sure so no. i'll back up i'm not sure um what the name of it is but this too really has good weight and it's just one of those sloppy big tops and it is somewhat cropped. I mean, it's my belly button's not gonna stick out or anything, but what I'll probably do with this is wear a tank underneath it or I may just not worry about it as long as my jeans come up high enough, but, um, or especially leggings. I really won't worry about it with leggings, but um, let's see if I can, oh, and it's got like a slit at the bottom and um, made in Italy. Let's see, 57% cotton, 40% viscose, 3% elastic. So that's actually a pretty good combination. And um, it has the seam down the back. 
So this is the first one. It's like a, a light big, white drapey top. And these are wonderful for everything. I mean, this and any pair of pants you have, leggings, skinnies, boyfriends, a skirt, I mean, everything, a skirt and tights and a leather jacket or a jean jacket or something over this or like a fur vest, anything like that. These, these little t-shirts like this are what you really need in your wardrobe because that they can pull have. together anything. Stand up and show you. That does have a good length to it. It goes past my waist. The last two things. And these are like sweaters and, um, goodness. This says hazel. So, um, okay, so, okay, it's not the cardigan. Okay, so this is just a big, open, like, really light sweater that's tan. And I believe this might be the one that Claire showed in her video that she said she really liked and she had ordered another one. I think her cat, what's his name, Bruce, had gone to the bathroom on the other one. So, um, I just thought it would be really just easy to wear like she said you can wear it in the summertime and um, I love that the sleeves are so fitted too so just an easy going nothing sweater that and these all these they look like nothing but when you put them on they're real pretty because the way they drape and kind of come off the shoulder and stuff like that and if you don't want to wear them to work or anything this is the kind of stuff that's nice to wear around the house um, so I, love I know that. because it's the only one is the Louise cardigan and you know I love long cardigans, and this was um, this was 55. So the other things were just like 18, 25, and 18. And this is just a ooh, I like this. You can see this is just a cool, and it kind of um, see how it kind of dips down in the back. Oh, I love this. So perfect, perfect with like a white tank underneath it, and you know it's because you'll. I like, when I wear a cardigan, I like to wear something fitted underneath it. That way you get your, I don't know, it's just slimming. And um, with pumps, in my case, because you know I love to wear heels, but you could even wear it with like some nude flats or something like that. But isn't that pretty? I'll be right like back that. with my outfit of the day and let you go. So today right I have on my favorite, favorite, favorite jeans. My favorite white ones and they're old they're probably two to three years old from american eagle and they do not make them anymore they were i think they're like skinny boyfriend or something like that jeans and they're kind of distressed and they're my all-time favorites i mean better than any designer jeans i have and um, my top is one that i got from twee at Saks in raleigh and i will put her name down below because she is excellent at helping you shop for sales and different but things. She is the one that sent me a picture of this tank top and I love it. And today's the first day I've worn it, so I thought it was pretty appropriate. And I thought about wearing my red shoes, but I thought it might be too much for the school. <laughs> yeah, we'll so, see. We'll see. these um, may be a little too much too, but I can't resist. These Valentino shoes are just, and uh, these are just the matte black. Valentino rock stud pumps and um, then my belt is the bell bottom blues um, below the no, be, below the belt bell bottom blues belt the same one that I've worn for years now and um, that's it and I will probably put on my Victoria's Secret black um, for accessories I have on my Dean Davidson stack rings I just love him and I love his jewelry it is just and um, I have on him. my little, another pair of my Betsy Johnson kiss earrings. The other day I wore my pink ones. And today I have anyway, on my little red. Anyway, I hope red. you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day and a wonderful weekend. And I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.